Hey guys, this is Scott Gaylor. Welcome to Tone Junkie Chronicles. I'm here today to talk to you about boss pedals, particularly the DD500. But before I do that, I want to talk to you about the DD2. This was the first digital delay pedal in a box, in a small stomp box. Came out in 82 or 83, I'm not 100% sure. It was also the best Christmas present I ever got that year. Now this is a blue label one. Uh, my original one, of course, was a black label, but this was it. This started it. You know, you, before, prior to this, you needed a great big rack unit and, and spent a lot of money to get a digital delay. And everybody wanted, you know, pristine, clean repeats and all these things. And this was 800 milliseconds. Then was mind blowing. You know, now now you've got four minutes of delay or whatever you want. But then 800 milliseconds was insane. That's how you could do like all of the cathedral things and big swells. So this was it. Had the hold button and and all the cool stuff. So this is kind of what started it. But it has now evolved into this, the DD500. This is every single boss delay in a box. So you've got an analog, a tape, a vintage, a dual pattern, a reverse, a shimmer, filter, slow attack. The tarot echo is in here. Although they don't necessarily admit it, there's a version of the slow gear hiding in here. There's a bunch of really cool stuff that this does. And at this price point, it is really tough to beat couple things on it that are pretty straightforward. You got stereo in and out. You've got an expression pedal which you can program and assign. USB for updating and MIDI in and out. And then of course you've got your power supply. But what's nice with a pedal this big, which you don't get a lot of, you could actually use AA batteries with this, which I don't have any in here right now because I use power supplies, but you can use AA batteries if you wanted to do this. So that's actually cool. It's not something uh, you see with some of the bigger pedals. The negative to this or the downside to me is a little tiny screen. I'm just not a fan of a little tiny screen. Hopefully Boss will take some initiative. If you're listening guys, especially Aaron, um, I want an app. <laughs> Get me an app so I can edit this. I know you can do this. It will make life easier. Tap tempo and control. You can have two at a time. You can bank up or bank down. Even if you do no program on, uh, programming on this, say that three times fast, the presets are so good you don't even have to. Um, this is a worship guitar player's dream. If you're playing in a church, this is uh, this is kind of one of the ones you want. Won't break the bank and yet does everything you need. Good profile, sl slight slant. So if you're hitting the pedals, you're not going to hit the knobs. Um, pretty straightforward as you go through. Your time and value has a push button. So as you're doing different functions and moving through, you can enter. It's basically an enter button at that point. Just a great pedal, pretty easy to use. Again, the, the problem, the only thing that annoys me is the small screen for the editing aspect of it, but the presets are so good you may not even do any editing or very few. The expression pedal works really, really easy with it. I'm currently using the Dunlop Volume X with it. No problems at all, which you'll see in the video. We'll have it hooked up. Uh, I run it mono just because my rig currently is mono. So what you're going to be hearing is this inside the effects loop of a Mesa Boogie Mark V. Just a standard amp, no mods. Uh, Conquest cables and pretty straightforward at that. So let's see what it sounds like.
Okay guys, so that was pretty fun. Um, I didn't go through all the presets. I, it would take all day. I mean, there's 99 presets and each one has two banks and all sorts of things. And you've got tap tempo. I just kind of picked out the best of what I liked. You'll see on the screen exactly what the setting is. They are bone stock. We did not edit them or change any of the parameters in there. Uh, I ended up not using an expression pedal just because it was easier. It was too hard to get a good clean camera shot and actually let you see the program that we're using. It was just a lot of fun. It is a great delay. It is definitely a pro level delay. Well worth the money. Uh, I like the battery aspect. I wouldn't use batteries in a live situation. That's just me. But I do like the fact that I can have batteries with it if I had to go take something in a bigger delay situation. Great sounding delay. I think Boss did an amazing job on it. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, subscribe, hit like, tell your friends. You can go to ToneJunkieChronicles.com, ScottGaylor.com, ScottGaylorLessons at gmail.com, and of course, bossusa.com. I will see you soon. Yeah.